And finally, a massive, specially built tent in Paisley is set to be the unconventional home of Scottish Opera's latest production. Pagliacci sees professionals perform along with amateurs from the local community. It's hoped the event will help build on the momentum generated from the area's unsuccessful City of Culture bid. Laura Hamilton has the story. <laughs> Take a group of professional singers, a community chorus and a tent in Paisley. It feels like a festival, but in fact, it's opera. I love opera in the main house, but there's always a risk that it's a little bit isolated and impenetrable. This is a marvellous way to really share what's magical about opera with as many people as possible. It's taken three years for Scottish Opera's production of Pagliacci to get to this point, and the local community has played a key part. We originally come from Paisley, and uh, these are the oldest bells in Scotland. Um, we've had them refurbished twice in uh, over 150 years, so they are. we do table ringing, so we are what unique. Paisley has got such a, a background in terms of musical theatre and poetry and things like that. I mean, if you go back and you think about Robert Tannehill, I mean, there was wonderful things going on here. I think it really is fabulous that somebody like Bill has brought this kind of production to Paisley and it's almost like bringing it back to the people. This massive tented structure was built especially for these performances and with the action constantly moving, it's up to the audience to follow it. Those involved hope the immersive style of performance and community inclusion will help opera reach new audiences. We have to create these sort of performances because in 50 years' time we won't have an audience, yeah? The community company has been terrific. They're really inspiring with their enthusiasm. That's what I love about them. And their singing has been exemplary. I mean, we've had to step up our game, you know what I mean? <laughs> Turn off your mind. With the first performance taking place tonight, it's clear culture is still firmly on the agenda in Paisley. Laura Hamilton, STV News.